What's up, everyone? Welcome back to After the Storm, and welcome back to NHL Tales in 5 Dynasty Mode Series. Episode number 56 on the series now. We just came off a big win against the New Jersey Devils. A thrilling victory, but we did lose our captain, Joe Sackick, for five weeks with a facial laceration. Uh, but taking a look here, we've only had two losses. I think let's take a look back here. We had a tie against the Leafs and that loss against Columbus here. So we had, a, I think it was 14 games in a row, 11 or 12. One, two... Six, nine, eleven games. There are eleven wins, thir or twelve wins, thirteen wins, fourteen wins, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen wins in our last twenty games. Um, crazy, absolutely crazy. Seventeen out of our last twenty, we've won. We have a bit of an easy matchup here before we actually get into some relatively easy matchups for the remainder of the month. But our next episode, episode number fifty-seven, against. A huge rival. Somehow this team, I don't know how they're first. Anyways, the Minnesota Wild, guys. 81 rated offense, 80 rated defense, 93 goaltending, 84 overall. Like, the <laughs> the Vancouver Canucks are way better than them. Minnesota keeps on winning. Anyway, so previewing our matchup here against the Vancouver Canucks. Vancouver pretty much 500 on the season, not having a great year. 19th in the NHL, 10th in the conference, 4th in the division. They are the next step down in our division. Uh, there's a, you know, I think there's a 16-point drop-off between 3rd and 4th in our division right now. Uh, we have the advantage goals for, goals against. Uh, we don't care about the special teams because they're all broken in this game. Goaltending, Theodore 99 versus Kluge 91. It's going to be a good game. Vancouver is always a great matchup, no matter what, really. Uh, they are, of course, struggling this season, but that doesn't mean they're not going to give us a hard-fought game. They always do. So let's get into it against the Vancouver Canucks. laceration just really came back into the lineup in the last four games for the Avalanche. Unfortunate to see him go back out. Having three nasty cuts requiring some surgery. Out five weeks. Here's Morrison. He loses the puck to Blake. Up to Tange. Newly formed first line. Tange right there gets a chance to off. Newly formed top line of Lindros, Tange, and Here's Tange. Up to Lindros. He's got a bit of a step. Lindros trying to get a shot away. He's knocked over. Linden. Maslin. Back in. Makes a move. Trying to get around the late. Joe Maslin. He's back in front. There's a chance. A big save for Jose Fiedel. Shot there by Yager to the pad of Fluche. He holds it. Seventeen of the last twenty. The Avalanche have one tie in their two losses to Columbus and Detroit. Shot there, Nico Lucian buries the rebound. Luce lost sight of it, and the Avalanche strike first. Lucian with the game-winning goal a couple nights ago. 
against the New Jersey Devils. In a thrilling matchup here. Now he's got his sixth of the year. Goals in back-to-back -back games. And gives the Avalanche the lead here early in the first. Forsberg. Colorado goal. 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 Over to Salami, can't get the pass through though. Sal is there to break it up and then Green starts it up. Miles there with Sania. Back in front, Ruchinski can't get the shot away before Theodore comes out to meet him and mess that one up. Here's Lundgren back in, Sania. Sania back. Can't get the puck, it's turned over in the neutral zone by the Avalanche. back for you to check there from Musilani, who we highlighted in our last broadcast, talking about his new role on this team. And he's undertaken being more of a checking third line role. Lindros on the draw against Morrison. Lindros going to win that one. Here's Surrey dancing through. Nice moves by Sheldon Surrey. Back to the point. Hayduk shot and hit a Knuck in front. Lindros wrap around his chance. Scores. Eric Lindros. Long arms. Body movement. Big man. Gets around the net. Tucks that one in between the skate and the post of Dan Cluche and the Avalanche here leading 2 0 early on here in the game. The completion against Sadine. At this point, here's Sadine. And strangely, earlier on in the season, we saw a brother trade A bit of a shocking move. Here's Hendricks. Hit hook there, Martinek. The extra rebound that's uh, poked through. Nikolishin. And the front finds Tchaikovsky. Stephon Nikolishin. Tchaikovsky playing ill. Got a bit of a bug. Wanted to come back in the lineup. Maybe him and Hendrickson having some words down on the ice a bit. Kukowski, but he did get the shot off. He's fine enough to play tonight. And Ross wins that draw. He do, because pulled off of it. Has him back the other way. Has him pass interceptor. And he's showing his right. And Ross shot. And he's coming back. Trevor going to go off for the rest of the game. Yeah, maybe a late hit. That's what's getting called. Not, not being liked by the coaching staff or the longtime former captain of this. Vancouver penalty number 16, Trevor Lindon. Two There finds Forsberg. Set up in the zone. Forsberg spinning around. Finds Yager back in front. He did the backhander. Good stop by Kuja. Henrik Sedin, seven goals, 16 assists for 23 points. It must be awkward when your twin brother, who really the Canucks look to build around, gets traded away early on in the season. And really, the Canucks have never really found their footing this year. Tenth in the West. 500 teams that just can't see it. Crack themselves into that playoff position. Here's Solani. Really bundled up in front of the bank. Here's Tongue. Salo there. Salo's going to find his way through with the puck. But there, trying to check Salo off. Salo, I think, got the shot away, and the eyes will start back. Here's Tongue. Can't win the puck. In. Stops up, looks for an outlet. Over to Dante in front, and Kluche makes a clutch save there. So new management comes in, and with that, sometimes the priorities do change with the team. And it's unfortunate to see as the twins, as they were referred to here, Henrik and Daniel, were the 
very much considered to be the future of the organization. And here we are, a season, or half a season later, and it looks like we've really decided to go in a new direction. Here's Hayes right breaking out on the side, and a penalty behind the play. Magnus Arvidsson is the player getting the penalty. As maybe Forsberg was hurt on the play, the Avalanche are confused why it was whistled. But that is not good news for the Avalanche, who may have just lost another play. Vancouver penalty draws up the draw. Another power play for the Avalanche. Okay. that cross freeze pass. Crawford not happy to be down 2 0 early on here in the game. Let's get some word back on Peter Forsberg later on. Great slap shot. Rebound there was cleaned up by Trevor Lee. But he's headed across the line. And here's Keane. Former half. Keane. Came to the shot away. So now he's back in. Klein takes it. So it is. And Blossom. Found his way through. He got a shot away. But he did not lose it. Keen now. One minute left in the first period. We're going to play that one out. Sallow as we go into the final minute of the first. Linden. Shots out there. Theodore at the challenge. He makes an easy save. And 40 seconds remain here in the first period. Salon. Check down. Adu throws a big hit on to Maslin. Aduk centering pass, didn't find anybody there, and now he turns it over to Joe Maskell. Avalanche, strangely, looking for a change in the offensive zone. Andras playing both power play units. That would definitely indicate that Forsberg is still in the room. Final seconds here of the first period. Here's Madsen coming out. He's checked out. The survey is there. The time runs out. 2 0. Goes by Nico Leach. Playing on the same ice as your heroes. We're in the now first 2 0 lead into the second period for the end. For more skaters. To book ice time, please call our front office during this. As we begin the second period here, getting word that. Peter Forsberg will not return to this evening's contest. So a big injury there, something to on. Maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed, not a big loss for the Avalanche. Just lost for the captain. London in shot. Big save there with Salo throwing it back up front. And Tongay coming in on the wing. Tongay shot on the stop by Kruce. He plays it out to Keen. Keen entering the Avalanche zone. Hero with the save there. Here's Solani back. Solani turns fire. He looks for a rebound in front. Oh, and Kluche there getting up from the sprawling out. And he just to get that puck. Take a look at Blake throwing a big hit on his former partner. 2-0 still the lead. Avalanche in firm control of this game. Tukoski there. Hooked off. Lindgren gets the puck. Lindgren shot on. Irwin coming around with the puck. That played out. Tukoski. Tukoski there. Back in the slot, Nikolic on a backhander on a blue chain makes the save there. Big glove save from the high slot backhand by Andre Nikolic. He's already got one in this game, had the game winner a couple nights ago in New Jersey. It's out of the lineup for quite a period of time. Blake turns and fires, that one's blocked. Here's Hayden, he shot on, he got two. Lindros gets the third chance. Cruce there, cutting off the pass, looking for Tongi on the slot, he's coming it up. Jeff Hamilton on the draw. 
Loses it to Reed. Sallow. Perry loses it to Riku Hall. Hall there. And, ooh. Glass shattering there. Malik. Making sure he's okay. He return to action after the glass pane, or glass pane rather, gets put back in. Nikolishan on the draw against Morrison. Morrison's going to win that one. A repair loss. Pass down the ice there. 12 minutes to go here in the second. It's been relatively quiet since Eric Lindros' goal. In the first period, shot on. Theodore still trying to find it. He finally did. And it gets cleared out. And back the other way come the avalanche. Here comes Salon. Salon, he turns five. He's trying to get a lane and try to force that one through. Linden, Nazlin. Nazlin shot. Oh, it hit the pad of Theodore and popped over the net. Here's Sopel. Back the other way. Nazlin. Big stop by Theodore, who's holding the fort here in the second period as the Canucks look to get something going. Vichnovsky, back the other way. Tongue. Tongue spinning around. Burns fires that puck right on. Bringing it back. Five and a half to go here in the second. Shakes off a hit from the chance. He's shot there with the rebound, though. And Hado, he's got goals in back to back games. A three on the lead opens up here in the second. And that shot that was originally blocked by Olin and followed up on by Hado. Maybe the route is on here in Colorado goal. Scored by number 23, Elon Hayden. Assisted by number 88, Eric Lindros. Sask in there finds Arvidsson. He took that penalty in the second period. On the hit, or on the, in the first period rather, the hit on Peter Forsberg that is signed on him. Hamilton in front of the back and it just skips ground. Salo and Arvidsson. Arvidsson had a nice move as he went across the line. Malik turns it over to McCormick. McCormick a wrap on chance. Stop there. Hamilton tried to hit Sask and he fell down, but managed to get the puck. Uh, minute approaching here the second, a block by Radic Martinez. One minute left in the second period. Spins off and for an outlet. Surrey there. He can get two hands to his stick before he's broken up. Green shot on. That will do it. Theodore will hold it. Three nothing the score. Who will be the head to the third the row in the Vancouver page continues. for a look at the players in the system. The shot's close. The score not so much. 3-0 in the third. 23-18 shots. In favor of the Avalanche here. With the leash in. Third line starting out for the Avalanche foot. A big hit there. And then crush the ball. Actually, Nico Leishan has now jumped out of that second line of goal. In the absence of the fourth one. Lindros on the draw. They lose it to Lindros. Passed up. Here's Tonga. He's getting his way through. Oh, came to the shot over there. Blake. Puck back. Lindros entering the zone, shakes off a hit. Olin there, finally gets the puck away from Lindros. Hiduk. Tongay stops up. Shot, looking for a rebound maybe. Lindros going to get to that puck first, but Sanya is going to actually strip him of the puck. And Lindros will bring it back. Michelle hits later, and Rob Blake. This spot there, and he lost a shot on. Hayduk with the puck. Near the corner, tried something there, couldn't pull anything off. Senia. And Ross dumping that one in. Kluche plays it. Linden. Down there, Morrison fires it. Brendan Morrison. Rick Hilton, that shot. 
shot. Absolute bomb off the stick, and he perfectly places it to avoid Jose Theodore. And the Avalanche, or the Canucks rather, are on the board. 3-1 here in the third. 12 minutes to go. Can the Canucks come back? By number seven, Donovan Brandon does that. Back up by Donovan, steps back up. And Ben Henderson now the play by the green shot on. And it's includes up that rebound. And he will bring it back into the zone. Here's Henderson. Back in front. Martinet. Shot on. Second chance. He scores. Radek Martinek. His second of the season. On the second chance rebound. Given up by Kluche. He tucks it around him. And the Avalanche restore their three goal lead quickly. Nothing quite like answering Colorado back goal. right away. Scored by number 24, yeah. Radic Martin, assisted by number 7, Darlene Hendrickson. Avalanche baby pushed to lock this game down a bit more from shot there. Big save by Theodore. Cogger's pass does not find its intended target. Not a perfect icing as Ed Jovanowski is back to touch back. Jose Theodore looking for the win number 30 on the season. He might get it. Looks like he will get it in about nine minutes time. He's back in front. Shot on big save by Theodore. Takes that puck right out. Big hit there. McCormick losing his helmet. And in front. Alvidson. Hit there by Blake. And Hall's back. Riku Hall into the corner with the puck. Still has it. Turn and Cody McCormick, his first goal. He hits a tip in and he's not wearing a helmet. How often do you see that? A nice tip by McCormick. Gets his first, collects his helmet, puts it back on. And the Avalanche with a 5 1 lead here in the third. Not every day do you see that. And now we have Canucks pulling Dan Cloutier. Looks like that's Johan Hedberg coming into the net. Equalition on the draw. Oh, that wins that one against the Wolves. Foot dumps it around the board. Yeah. And takes a big hit from the foot. He'll dump it back, and it's blocked down by Jovanovski. Equalition drops Jovanovski at the line. He's being really turning into a favorite advantage for the Avalanche. Four minutes to go here. Here's Solani back in front of the team. Solani maybe gets one more whack at it, but Hedberg makes the save. Joel Quinn built a great on the bench. And that was a bit of a cheap shot after the whistle. But I think the referees, among others, probably going to ask him to calm down a bit, considering his team is up four goals. We were waiting for Luchinsky. There's Tongay working his way around back in front. Hayward gets a one time off, but a big save there by Hedberg. Two and a half to go here in the third, mercilessly for Hayward. Dumping it back in. Same. Bring it back. Here's Ruchinski. Ruchinski shot. Save there. Final minute. One minute left. In the in. third period. With the puck, holding on to it. Back in front to Tongay. Back in front of Tongue again as the floodgates have opened on the defensive end for the Canucks. But Hedberg coming in, he's made a few handful of solid saves to at least not add on to the embarrassment. Nikolic and winning that draw. Tied up with Solani, Jovanowski back, and he gives it away. So back with the puck. There's a hit from Solani. Laws passes it back. It goes right to Theodore. Nikolishin there. Big hit on Nikolishin. Nikolishin takes one there from Morrison. And Lyles so good with that stick. The young John Michael Lyles breaking plays up with that poke. Yager back into the zone. Finally killing off the rest of this clock. Win number 30 on the year for Jose Theodore. 
Nearly in the books here. Final second will tick away. And one more draw with .5 to go on the offside. The Avalanche came in, dominated this one. Unfortunately, looked to have lost Peter Forsberg. Hopefully not for an extended period of time. We'll know, of course, on the next broadcast that that will do it. 5-1, big victory on the road for the Avalanche. As always, we will leave you with the three stars of tonight's game. And we'll catch you on the next Avalanche broadcast. All right, so coming out of that one, um, you know, we I think I definitely expected Vancouver to put up a bit more of a fight, but I think Bertuzzi's been injured for a while. Um, he hasn't been in. I don't think he's been in, like, the last three games we've played against Vancouver. Like, it's crazy. I don't think I've seen Bertuzzi even once this season. Um, obviously a huge victory, but at what cost? Peter Forsberg is out with a bruised shin six weeks. Okay, guys, it's a bruised shin. That can't be six weeks in length. Um, and Theodore fatigued from playing in too many games. So our next matchup, our biggest matchup of the season, we got to go to our backup. A big, big game, unfortunately for us. Uh, we, we lose Forsberg there. Um, but we have to keep, obviously, keep moving forward. We're playing very well. We've got so much depth in our lineup. It won't really matter. Plus, we're not missing our defense, which has been the best part of this season for our squad. Like, our defense has been unreal. Uh, nobody's getting injured on that side. So, cross our, you know, fingers cross our toes. Keep that going right now. Anyways, uh, we are going to move on to the preview of our next game against the Minnesota Wild. So, this is, without a doubt, our biggest test of the season uh, they have us beat in goals four. Uh, we beat them in goals against. We don't care about those special teams. Uh, we, of course, we have like the advantage almost everywhere except for goaltending in this matchup. Strange that they're a first place team. Crazy. I wonder how good their goaltending has been because it doesn't look like they're. You know what? We're we're gonna go take a look at a special look at Minnesota. And actually, I forgot about. Uh, taking a look at the team reports thing of of Minnesota to that other section I had in a few episodes back. Um, we're going to go take a look at that as well. But let's go ahead and preview our goaltenders. Dwayne Rolson, 99. So good at this time. 0506 leads the Edmonton Oilers after the trade deadline to the Stanley Cup final. And on our side, Cujo coming off the 3 2 win against uh, the Devils. Uh, he's obviously, of course, very, very solid. He's, ba he's our backup, but he's been very, very good. Should be a goaltending matchup. All right, so in our secondary screen here, uh, Minnesota 37 14 6 and 1 on the season coming off a 3-2 win against the Phoenix Coyotes look at that home record 22 4 4 and 1 we are playing them at home for us uh, so they're really all their losses most of their losses I should say have come on the road and they are missing uh, Chouinard and Laxanen out of their lineup that's pretty interesting to know their captain is Ryan Smith I always forget about that Ryan Smith trade from Edmonton earlier this season uh, but yeah, it's good to know like, hey, they got some injuries here and there. Um, but yeah, we got to, uh, this is going to be a big game, big game in the next episode, guys. And of course, looking at our, at the standings here, we do have the ability here to really take two big points. Uh, I mentioned in the last episode of we were, when we were looking at the standings, um, you know, if we were to catch up in games played, we would just be two points behind them. This is that two-point gap. We can get it from Minnesota in this next game. And then that way, when we catch up to them in games played, we might be tied. Or we might get ahead of them. And quickly taking a look at some of the stats, Ryan Smith, their best offensive player, looks like him and Gabrick have really been carrying the load for their squad this season. I always forget they had Rod Brendamore as well. And in that, a lot of the workload has gone to Dwayne Rolson. 2.26 goals against, 33 wins, 894, which is exceptional for this league at this time. Somehow, no shutouts. That's wild. That's crazy. Theodore's got like eight. 
So they have not shut a team out all season, and they're this good. That's unbelievable. I cannot wait for this next episode. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap for this episode. Cannot wait for the next one. The biggest matchup of the season against the Minnesota Wild. And then we do really, you know, we get into this next section of the calendar where we start playing some really poor teams. Chicago, bad. NHL 19th. Pittsburgh, brutal. Uh, Islanders aren't very good. The Rangers are not good. The Edmonton Oilers are not good. The Atlanta Thrashers are, they started off really well, but they have since come really down. And again, as I mentioned before, it's pretty much no real playoff teams until we hit um, just before the deadline here. So this is coming up. We're, we're excelling our way through this portion of the season. We're almost at the playoffs. It's crazy to think we're almost there. We're a month and a half away. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like the video down below. Hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys on the next one.